What's up guys, Xavier here with you at the Vans Warp Tour 2015. This wildlife is starting right behind me. You're watching the new music buzz. Come check it out. What's up guys, Xavier here with you with a new music buzz. We are out at Warp Tour 2015 in Ventura and it is hot man, but there are still so many dedicated kids, so many dedicated fans. We're about to go we're about to go find out what they're all here for and what they're lining up for, especially this crew over here. Yeah, yeah. Guys, hey. how you doing? What are we lining up for? Um, we're gonna meet um, YouTube YouTubers. YouTube, which ones? Ryan Stars, John and Gilbert, Jordan Sweeto, Damon Fizzy. So YouTubers are still a big deal at Warp Tour. Yes. And what are they? Are they? So they're not performing or anything. They just come and doing meet and greets. Mm -hmm. Yes. Do you think that the uh, the bands will be semi pissed that YouTubers are coming and uh, and people are lining up for them and not and not them? Probably. I don't know. <laughs> why do you, Why do you like these guys so much that, you, that you're lining up for? Who's your favorite? I would have to say Jordan Sweeto and Damon Fizzy. What kind of What kind of are they bloggers? Or yes. Bloggers? Yes. And that's that's what you're into. That's what you love. Yes. What bands are you here to see? The Madly Affliction, the um, New Year's Day, um, Black Veil Brides, Black Veil Brides, Memphis Mayfire, uh, Pierce the Neck Deep. Nice. Are you gonna be able to fit it all in? Yeah. Awesome, guys. Well, thank you so much for chatting with us. You're watching the new music buzz. Make sure you check it out and talk to this guy. All right? You gonna wave? Oh, it's all right. Thanks, guys. <laughs> What's up guys, Xavier here with you. You're watching the new music buzz. We are at Vans Warp Tour and I'm hanging out with the guys from Escape the Fate. How are you boys? Hey, hey, this is Thrasher. And this is Robert. Nice to see you. Man, how you guys feeling? I've just pried them away from an interview that we're doing over there. But uh, you like guys... four hour interview. Yeah, you guys, uh, you just <laughs> seem like you're just talking machines. You're ready to go. Yeah, we're very sociable, you know? We like talking to people. That's it. I can tell. What's the, uh, how many, what, how many times have you done, have you done Warp Tour now, man? Uh, this is the band's third time doing Warp Tour. I've done it. This is my third time as well. I've been in different bands doing it. Uh, yeah, yeah. Did it while I was 14 years old, actually. You did, you on the did. drive the record stage. You, you played bands when you were 14 years old. When I was 14 years old, I played Warp Tour for an entire week. My parents drove us in a minivan, and we we opened up for I think Finch would play after us. Our starting line it was all the drive the records bands. Oh, wow. And my band was signed to Drive the Records at the time. What was the band's name? It was called Grey Star. Yeah, dude, that's a really cool fact I had no bit, no idea about. That's right, man. So, dude, you, you guys have uh, you know you've been around the block. You've done a lot of touring. Is uh, is staring down the barrel at a full summer of Warp Tour? Is it a daunting? Is it a daunting idea, or are you still just like right on? Let's do it. Whatever it takes to get people to know about the new album that's about to come out, I'm gonna do it. I don't care. I'll sleep when I'm dead. Yeah. I'll be tired all night. I don't care, dude. This is, at the end of the day, this is a summer camp, and I get to hang out with a bunch of cool bands. Yeah. Screw it. That's it. It sounds like a fun time to me. This is this is what I wanted to do my whole life, yeah. so why not? I'm not going to complain about it now. That's it. That's good, man. As I said, like, I like, I like correct response there. Well done. You passed. But, I mean, it's good. I said, you guys, you know, you've been around for a little while now, and you've uh, you've done a lot of things, so it's still cool to see that you guys have got the uh, the enthusiasm to uh, to do this, because, I mean, I've interviewed a ton of bands today, and a lot of them have, a lot of them have listed you guys as sort of like the people they look up to and the bands that they sort of uh, really admire. I reckon I could probably, I would say, quite, yeah, quite a few have said you guys, and uh, and it's really cool. So, I mean, is that... Is that what you, what do you, what advice do you sort of give to the smaller bands jumping on tour? Well, like, go 
ahead. All right, you want to start? <laughs> I was I was starting like I already, I already said the best the, the, answer, so now he said the hear. best. This is gonna be the second best probably. <laughs> but what I've learned from when I first did Warp Tour, or not when I, the 14 one, but when I was 18, yeah. I, I was partying my ass off all Warp Tour, yeah. and you know, I've kind of learned out of out of years of doing this that you kind of need to pace yourself. You know what I mean? You need to drink water during the day, and if you have a late set time, you don't you don't want to be all sloppy on stage because no one wants to see that. So that's kind of one big piece of advice. Another one is to, to make friends, not enemies. Mm -hmm. it's, a, it's, a, it's a tour, it's like a big family. So if, like, if you start pissing everyone off or yeah. you think you're the shit and you, you know, um, it's just gonna be a bad look and you're yeah. probably not gonna be asked to come back. Yeah, sure. It's, I mean, from what I've seen, it seems like a really tight knit sort of crew already. Like three days in and everyone's raving about what an awesome crew that they have this year. Yeah. Would you guys agree some awesome bands on here? Yeah, well, l listen, man. I mean, to go back to kind of what he was saying, though, um, this is it's been a fun time. At the end of the day, you have to just enjoy the ride. And, um, you know, one thing I've learned about being here is to just be very open-minded. Most most everyone here didn't go to college, just doesn't want to go to college. They want to be a rock star. This is your college right here for the young bands, you know. We can come back to it as veterans and now as scholars and teachers, you know? <laughs> so uh, that's kind of where we're at now. And a lot of bands did look up to us and they're, they're happy to share a stage with us and everything. But for us, it's awesome to see new artists, to enjoy new things and be part of something that's always different. It's exciting every year. It's something different than the year before. Like when the first Warped Tour I went to as a kid, it was all ska and punk bands. You know, now it's DJs and it's acoustic guitar still. It's freaking, I don't even know what the fuck half the bands are now. I don't know yeah, what I'd do, call them. Do, They're just uh, awesome. Yeah. There's you know? Think TEI, which we, I do lessons every single day. Yeah. And that's something that, oh my God, if like the guys in Newfound Glory or, or Anna Flag were giving lessons, I would have definitely been there, you know what I mean? Yeah, what, what kind of lessons are they giving? Uh, I'm giving guitar lessons, oh, you, actually. Yeah, yeah. yeah, so I'll have anywhere from three students to 10 to 15 to 25 and we'll do like a group lesson so we do a big Q&A yeah. I'll go over some a little bit of theory yeah. how to be in a band how to write songs yeah. how to communicate with other musicians like wow. that that are not guitar players yeah. this is school of school of rock right here yeah it's just like here's your shortcut here's like in 40 minutes everything that I can show you that I think will be most useful for you to grow as a musician that's why I love doing Warp Tour, because it's just like, you just gotta keep trying. Fuck it. I love making music. Fuck it. At the end of the day, fuck it. I'm just gonna do it. Yeah. Love it. And uh, what can we expect for, uh, so obviously you got the tour coming, like the rest of Warp Tour, you've got the album coming out. Are you, uh, have you got any tours planned for, for this album after that, or yeah. it's just seeing what's going on? We're planning, we're in the middle of planning uh, a headlining tour in the fall. And that will be in hopefully conjunction with uh, the re record release date. Yeah. So all of that stuff is to be announced. So, you know, stay tuned to our Instagrams, our Facebook, all that, all that good stuff. You know. Right, guys. Well, holy hell! I'm gonna. I feel like we need to have a group hug after we got so uh, so intimate on that. Therapy session. Dude, I know. I'm like, I've got a heavy heart after this one, man. That was so cool. But uh, look, guys, I'll let you get. I'll let you get out of here. But thank you so much for chatting with us. That was a sick interview. So cool, man. I wish you all the best with the fifth thank album. You, Can't wait to hear more about it. Awesome. Chatting with Escape the Fate. My name is Xavier Brinkman. You're watching the new music buzz. Warp Tour. Peace. Hey, what's up? This is Robert. And this is Thrasher. And we're from Escape to Fate, and you've just been buzzed. Need fast cash? 
will go to cityloan.com or call 877-553-9071 to borrow $3,000 or more using the equity in your paid off vehicle. The best part, no credit checks. Your car is your credit with City Loan. Over 99% of City Loan customers are in good standing every month. So call 877-553-9071 now. And get this, if you sign up today and you are approved for a loan, you will receive a $25 gift card from Target. Be sure to mention promo code TVAD to receive your gift card. Also, don't forget to like City Loan on Facebook at City Loan Community and follow us on Twitter at City Loan. Now back to the new music buzz. Back at Warp Tour Venture, and I'm hanging out with Relapse Sympathy. Sim Symphony, sorry. Yeah. How are you guys? Yeah, it's okay. Great. It is a tongue twister. <laughs> yeah, great, man. It's cooking. Not as hot as Pomona, Pomona you were just saying, but uh, it's still pretty hot out there, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's How a cool breeze, though, so it's good. It's good. Weather jacket weather. Yeah, yeah all right. I'm doing dude, all right. Doing dude, all right. that's it, man. You guys are uh, you're just about to go on in a few hours, right? Warp yeah. Time. This is our first time on Warp Tour, yeah. yeah. yeah it's been an honor. Yeah. We've been wanting to do this since we're like four oh, kids. Dude, it's, it's, it's the dream. I can only imagine the feeling. Yeah. Actually, what if you had to sum up the feeling of when you got the call going on Warp Tour in an emoji, what emoji would it be? Oh, man. Uh, the girl. The girl that's like, oh, yeah. yeah. You're talking about? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I would do the the hands that like. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah the, like, the worship hands. Yeah. There you go. Well, I would. Yeah, love, I think I would go with love heart, love heart eyes. At least said love right. fart. I was like, I don't have the new ones. No, no. <laughs> love, love heart eyes. All right. Yeah. Good to know. Creative. Good to know. But it's uh, all right. So you guys are three dates in. Is it exactly? Is it what you expected? Uh, no. It's way more work than I thought. I thought Warp Tour was gonna be, you know, roll up, roll out of bed around 11, play, hang with some fans. It's been. We're here by seven every day. We're carrying stuff in the hot sun. We're out in the sun all day. We're meeting fans, which is which is great. But it, it's just been a hustle, you know, yeah. going to the line, trying to get kids to come see us and meet as many people as we can. Yeah. It's definitely been a lot more work than I ever thought as a kid. Dude, I mean that's it. I I honestly had no idea until I've been I've been into, like chatting to bands all day long, and they've all said the same thing. It's like you know they're working. I mean it's a production getting you guys from place to place. Yeah. You know like how it's what's what's apart from playing, what's been the most enjoyable part of it? I would say uh, talking to all the kids, man, like, uh, and, and the kids that don't necessarily know who you are before, and then they see your band, and they're, they get excited, and they come hang out and grab the new record and all that stuff. That's that's great. And are you seeing a lot of, uh, are you getting a lot of kids who were just like, hey, didn't know who you were, but like, just saw your set, like... I think it's been a mix. Yeah, um, yeah. I feel like we've got, like, we've got a lot um, who've been waiting to see us for a while, and for whatever reason, whatever tour we were on, we you know, they missed us, but because it's Warp Tour, they're here. Uh, so that's been cool, but there's also been a lot that, like yesterday, there were maybe 50 to 100 that had no clue who we were and watched us and came up and bought CDs and took pictures. So yeah, yeah. yeah it was great. And the, uh, so the new record is set, Born to Burn, set to coming out this summer, right? It's coming out it's in about two days. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. Wow. And so, is that, so what record are the kids buying right now? For, what do you have available right now? We have it with us. Oh. So, so uh, if you go to Warp Tour, you can you get in on it. Some some copies might have fallen off a truck. I don't know, but so uh, yeah, kids have been going for that one for sure. That one's been going, but uh, they're buying. We have everything, so they've that's been great. buying a little yeah. bit of everything. But that's great, man. And what can we? Uh, is this this is the uh, the debut album? This is actually our second second full length. Yeah. second um, full length. We put yeah. out a record about a year ago called Shadows, um, and then when we found out we had Warp Tour, we immediately got to work on the new record. We actually wrote a whole record, scrapped it, did a whole other one, and that's the one that you can hear today. And yeah. uh, the reaction's been overwhelmingly positive. Yeah, um, man, the kids are stoked. Yeah. They love it. It's been great. It's been really cool. I, I haven't heard one negative thing about it, so yeah. it's been you, awesome. Like, tell me the decision behind going, you know what? Scrap that. Uh, How did that happen? 
So we wrote we wrote a record. And I mean, a record is a baby. Like, how do you yeah. how do you call a baby? We were ready to go record, and then uh, I think I brought up. I was like, guys, I don't know if this is it, and everybody was like, yeah. That's it's just a feeling you have, you know. You we're all you, on the same page. you all you work on this record, and and when it's done, if it doesn't feel like, man, I can't wait to get this out, like you know, if you don't really feel that, then you probably should keep working. You, you know? all just knew it. So how many songs did you have before you just said, look, let's uh, do something? Well, I think we had 11, but we wrote another like 10 that yeah. didn't end up on this record either. Wow. Yeah. So there was a lot, but I think that's why this one's so good is we really, you know, worked our asses off and the best of the best is what we use. You took your time with them. Yeah. 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 And, what, uh, and what was the what was the change from those those 11 songs to the new ones? Like what, what did you do differently that made you go, "Yes, this is it." Um we went through a lot as a band, and I, th I think we were running from it. We weren't expressing it. Uh, we were just trying to, to write good songs, but we weren't really tapping into what we were feeling. And then at, at one point, we were like, look, we just have to be honest. And when we got honest, we wrote some really pissed off stuff, yeah. and it felt good. And yeah. uh, we just ran with that. We took that emotion and ran with it, and that's the record. Yeah. That was an amazing answer. This is uh, this is some poetry right yeah. here, guys. I feel like I feel like we're getting really honest right now. You know, yeah, yeah. this is uh, just stripping away the layers here, guys. That's what you got to do, though, man. Uh, when you when you write songs, you got to be real. You got to be honest. You know, the people can tell when you're not. So, for sure, man. And uh, have you guys? Um, I mean, obviously, you're surrounded by just a sea of talent on this tour. Any band? Pierce the veil. Like, oh, right on. We and interview right before them. And I, I was like, oh my god, it's crazy! Like, fuck! Like, they're they're definitely an influence of ours. Like, yeah. so it's crazy. Great Here's band, Savelle. yeah, Great right. Band. Any other any other bands that you guys have always looked up to? Yeah, um, my, we're out, we're actually out with friends. A lot of friends. Yeah, yeah. Escape the Fate, New Year's Day, Blackville Brides. Um, we have a lot of friends out on this tour. Yeah, I have to. Uh, I have to say, my favorite band on this tour that I've seen is a band called Tat. Oh, uh, just, I just interviewed her. They're, they're fantastic. Great band. She's such a badass. And uh, I also really love the Karma Killers too. They're awesome. Yeah, yeah. I uh, I actually just I was sitting down to have lunch, and then these two guys came up, and they went, "Hey, man, can we sit here?" And they got chatting, and they were like, "Oh, we're the Karma Killers." Yeah. And I was like, "Oh, man, you're my next interview." And so we just grabbed the camera, and we just did the interview while we're having lunch with them, man. Uh, Coolest guys, right? Yeah, yeah, are you yeah, getting? Yeah. Are you finding that you're just getting super close with all these people that you're seeing every day? You know, it's cliche because I've seen a ton of Warped Tour interviews growing up, and every band says, "You know, it's like punk rock summer camp." That's like the cliche line. But it's so true. I mean, I keep bumping into people and I know who they are. And, you know, it, it's like never meet your heroes kind of thing. But everybody's been so cool. Yeah. Everybody. I mean, we, like, uh, yesterday, New Year's Day came and watched our set. We've been friends with them for a while. Uh, Craig from Escape the Fate was like, I'm, I mean, I'm going to come check you guys out today. Like, everybody's just been so nice and supportive. It's like, so it's like the, 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 the bigger fish are sort of pulling up the little fish as yeah, well. Yeah, all the bands on our stage are so supportive and everybody helps each other carry gear on and off and watches each other's set. So, yeah. yeah. So how are you guys? I mean, so you're three days in. How do you guys, uh, how do you think you're going to cope by the end of the tour, man? What, is, it, is anything, uh, is it getting harder? It's okay. I think it's getting easier. I think day one, we, we had a lot to learn and we learned a lot. Uh, day two, we applied all that and it was much easier. And today, we're just kind of, I think we, we're finally in the swing of things. You know? Three days in, and you're already killing it, yeah. huh? Who, Smoking, right? It takes three days to quit. Warp Tour takes three days to fucking, I don't know, at. figure it out. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. And uh, what can, for people who haven't heard you guys before, what do you, uh, how do you describe the music that you play? Oh, man, it's so tough. Yeah. I just tell everybody it's it's good old rock and roll, man. It, I mean, I don't want you to like to pigeonhole yourselves or categorize yourself, but if, right. you know, if you had to describe it or something similar? I would say if... If we're a hard rock band, but we make sense on Warp Tour, you yeah, know it's I mean? Warp Tour. I love it. That's that's a good one. I like it. Yeah, <laughs> all right, guys. So. Well, I'm gonna let you get back to your van and uh, go check out all these bands. But thanks so much for hanging oh, out with us. It was, it was a really cool chat. My name's David Brinkman. You're watching the new Music Buzz. Peace. <laughs>
What, what bands are you here, here to say? Uh, Pierce the Veil, Blackwell Brides, Buttons, Memphis Fire. Yeah, what about you? I'm here because you dragged me here. Oh, you don't even want to be here. You're just hanging out. Yeah, I don't think else to do. You don't know, and none of these bands appeal to you? Nope. Literally none? None. I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm with you. I didn't have too many this year either. What about you guys? I just know Buttons, and I came because you told Mom, me to. What about you, Mom? Yeah. I'm the mom, so I'm just supporting. Yes, everyone's just handballing up the uh, the, the twins to here. No worries, guys. Well, thank you so much for checking out. Make sure you tune into the new music buzz and see these girls. Catch you next time. What's up? I'm Brett Vondell. I'm JC. And we're the Relapse Symphony, and you've just been buzzed. What's up guys, Xavier here, the new music buzz, and um, I was just having lunch and a couple of guys came up and sat next to me and it turned out to be Mango and Mickey from Karma Killers who were my next interview. So we said, you know what, don't worry about the set, let's just bring it over here and we're just gonna keep we're just gonna keep having lunch. So how are you guys? Doing very well. Sorry if my How's the food, dude? The chicken breast is epic. Fantastic. So, uh, so you guys are telling me like first this is the uh, first warp tour for you guys. It's been going great. Obviously, it's like super chill here. Like we're experiencing it fair tan. And you guys are this is a backstage pass is what it's to be like on you know at warp tour right now. How has it been? Like, has it uh, lived up to your expectations? I think so. Yeah. I mean, this is our third day on warp tour, and um, it's been amazing. I mean, it's just like very surreal for us. You know, um, we're so used to playing like little dive bars in New York City and at nighttime and no one watching and now it's like we're like vampires or something like yeah. we're coming out and like yeah. <laughs> you know everyone's, everyone's paying attention and everyone dresses the same too yeah. everyone's happy to everyone's embracing it mm -hmm. nice man and uh and for those of us who people who haven't heard of you guys what uh how would you describe your music um we're, we're an alternative band but we're very influenced by um by new wave and punk music um I mean, it kind of crosses the boards. I mean, we really love everything, you know. Um, he's very influenced by, like, soul and, and pop and funk music. And, we don't um, really like to set boundaries, yeah. you know, as far as what it is that we listen Pigeonhole to. Pigeonhole yourselves, of course. Yeah, yeah we'll, we'll really, we'll let anything um, inspire us, no matter what it is. There's really no boundary, you know. Sure, man. No, nice, and um, so we were just talking before you guys, before we got the cameras over here and we were just a couple of guys having lunch, I was telling the guys that I can see uh, Justin Pierre over there from, from Motion City Soundtrack, and I was, and that, that pulls my 90s heartstrings, and I bet it does for you guys too, who we are asking these guys who, uh, if they've had any starstruck moments, and have you had that on tour, or is it, are you just, it's cool, everything's cool? Um, not, not on Warp Tour, um, we played um, at South by Southwest, and we played with Incubus, and I thought that was... Uh, that was a, that was it was in March. Yeah. Incubus were at South by Southwest. We, we did a, like a label show showcase um, at this place called the Belmont in Austin. I was there. We were there actually, and I did. Incub I have an Incubus tattoo on my foot. Really? I have Make Yourself tattooed on my foot. I fucking love them, and I did not know that. Yeah, yeah. We we opened the show, and um, I know we were watching them soundtrack. I was like, it was a really surreal moment. I was like, I looked at him, and I was like, damn, this is really. Cool. I whipped my phone out, and I started filming their soundtrack. You know, it's a band that. We, you know, we grew up on, you know, and we love Incubus, and uh, to be able to share the bill with them and, and watch them soundcheck, and uh, we actually didn't get to meet them, but we were starstruck just, what, you know, it's just a cool, cool span. Dude, that's so sick. And uh, I mean, is it, you're, you're three dates into this tour now. Any advice for bands that are just about to embark on Warp Tour? What do you bring? What do you watch out for? What's what's something you can give? What's the uh, Karma Killers advice? Um, bring a lot of clothes I mean we love we love clothes um, and jackets and stuff even if it's so hot out I'll still wear a jacket um, yeah bring a lot of clothes because you'll run out real quick yes yeah you're gonna be after you play you're soaked and you're just like you're dirty all day so you just want to keep changing and um, 
I just work your ass off really hard every day. I mean, just be out there. This isn't like this isn't a flashy rock star tour. Like you got to be out there and, and work. So you got you got you got to work so hard. You got to do interviews over lunch. Exactly. I'm See, this is this is rock and roll. <laughs> this is rock and roll right here. This is the way we would prefer to do the interview. Yeah. You know yeah, what I mean? Hang, hang Me too. I'm I'm stoked that you guys came and sat down. I was I was actually looking like the loner kid in the cafeteria, and these guys helped me out. So uh, they got my vote. I'll definitely beat the show. What time are you guys on today? Four. Four. Where, what's that? Uh, the Ernie Ball stage. All right, guys, we'll definitely be there. We're having lunch with uh, Karma Killers. My name is Xavier. You're watching the new music buzz. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Peace. <laughs> <laughs> right, good to go? What's up guys, Xavier here with you with the new music buzz and we're doing something different this time, we're at Warp Tour, we are on the tour bus with Kyle and Kalani from Splitbreed, how you doing lads? Pretty good man, pretty good. Great, man. Yep. This is, uh, I'm kind of like living a little dream here by getting taken on a tour bus for Warp Tour man, so this is it, this is the digs. Yeah, yes it is. How's, uh, how many other bands are you sharing this with? Uh, we, well, actually, there is, what, 12 people total on the yeah, bus? 12 people total on the bus. So it's just a couple other artists. Is it a, is it a mess or it's all right? Nah, man, it's actually, nice. yeah. I mean, it's only day three, though, so, yeah. you know, that can change real quick. How do, you yeah. get along, how do you get along with everyone so far? Oh, man, everyone actually, like, yeah, we get along with everybody really good. And we found out, too, that most of the other tour buses have 18 and 19 people. Really? Yeah, so when we found that out, we were yeah, like... So it's all just beds to sleep. Yeah, 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 exactly. So, like, we have two living areas, so it's pretty cool. Jeez, yeah. man, pimps on the road. Look at these guys. <laughs> you, thought, you thought touring was hard work it's like these guys have got it you got it too good man but dude so tell me you guys uh, i mean what really interested me about you guys is your uh, i mean literally split breed hawaii yeah. vegas is that right yeah, 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 yeah. yep how did that how did this fusion happen well, um you know it's funny because there's actually a huge community of hawaiian people in vegas i think it's just because of the same industry yeah. um you know tourism and stuff but yeah me and my brother moved up to vegas when we were about you know 19 and just i don't know we just ended up staying there and you know, we call it home what, now. What made you uh, move to Vegas? Oh, to do music. Yeah. You know, because in Hawaii, you know, you can only go so far. Sure. You know what I mean? It's yeah, yeah. I'm, from, I'm from a small town in Melbourne, bro. Yeah. So I hate <laughs> Yeah, you got to kind of get out and get to the States and, you know, travel around and play out and stuff like that. So, it's, yeah. The, the, that's funny. I mean, my people in Vegas probably dream of moving to Hawaii and you guys yeah, are just uh, yeah. rounding it back up. And so, uh, I mean, I, you know, after checking your stuff out, it's like super interesting. And, uh, you know, for those of you who don't know, how would you best describe it? It's a... Uh, Fusion, uh, Fusion like, it's, uh, I mean, it's it's primarily, it's hip-hop and EDM, so, yeah. because they rap on every track, we play all original music, sure. and then, um, yeah, we just drop EDM beats, so it's heavy like bass, dubstep, yeah. Dubstep, uh, yeah. trap, but, but it even makes rock that. elements, you know, live yeah. instruments, yeah. like, yeah. Yeah. What, what was the inspiration to do that? Were you guys like, you know what, like, punk, like, emo punk's like dead, let's do something new, or it just happened? It's oh. just, it's just, man, you know, Well, like, honestly, like, we actually went down to LA, and we actually went down to the music box, yeah. that was our first EDM, EDM event, and yeah. we were just doing, like, pop, hip-hop, yeah. but when we went to that EDM event, and just saw the energy of the crowd. It's pretty much game over. After that, we're like, yeah, we're gonna leave this stuff behind and just go down this lane 100%. Yeah, so, I mean, yeah. you, so you guys just have fun doing it. Yeah. Yeah, and you know, it's 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 weird because like we don't really we get we get really bored. Oh, we got more people. We got more bands. <laughs> just don't interview. We'll you can have your bus back in one minute, guys. <laughs> yeah, we get um, you know, we uh. We get really, really bored when we stick to the same thing, yeah. and when we stick to the same thing, like it, I think you get stale, especially in the creative process, you know. So, so like when we're always, you know, pushing genres and mixing things, I mean, that's what makes it really, you know, um, really fun. It keeps yeah. it fun, you know, it keeps it fresh. Yeah. yeah so sure. that's, and uh, is this first warp tour? Yes, first warp tour. Is it what you expected? <laughs> it's everything and <laughs> crazy. Yeah, definitely everything and a little bit more. I mean, we're on day three now. Hey, we're gonna party! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Brad, it's, it seems hey, pretty I wild. Listen, I gotta show you our bus captain. Over here. Yeah. Bring it in. <laughs> Come in, bus captain. <laughs> this is, this is, he's on our tour bus, yeah. and he, this man has brought more alcohol than any human should have in oh, their. In their Aren't you supposed to be the responsible one, or what? Well, you know, it depends on who you ask. Yeah. <laughs> I bring that, and I also bring Trojan condoms to them. So yeah, I make sure that See, good it's a balanced bus. diet, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a balanced diet. Yeah. Balanced diet. This bus is the best bus, though, on tour. I gotta yeah, tell it you. It seems that I'm impressed. Great bunch of guys. Yeah. I've never traveled with a bunch of guys like this before, yeah. but doing it this time, I'm telling you, if you get your chance, go check them out. Yeah, Honestly, man. Warped Tour 2015, they're rocking it. Split breed. They are doing it every day, and they are doing it well. That's what's up. Thanks, yeah, Captain. A little, uh, little, little plug from the captain. Yeah. What a legend. <laughs> that was awesome, man. Years on the tour, oh, wow, man. He's, see he's seen some stuff. Yeah. Jeez, man. And um, 
And that's it. Going back to my question, like, what what did you expect? Like, how was it different from what you expected? Actually, I mean, you're only three dates in, but like, what yeah. what's what's different than you thought? The sheer the sheer number of people that are on this tour, man. I think yeah. they said there's something like 900 people total. Yeah, move it when you move in. We've got like 70 something tour buses. It is literally yeah. the biggest thing I've ever been a part of. It's just yeah, yeah it's yeah, crazy. Yeah, it's like literally, you change this. There like he is. It. It's like they tear it. Come the thing is too. Sorry. Yeah, no worries. They actually tear down the festival every day. Put it on trucks. And, move like six hours and then set it all up and get another city every day Jeez, man. <laughs> so, and, uh, so you're obviously feeling pretty good now how do you think you're going to be feeling by the end of the uh, end of the tour you got a lot of dates to play yeah yeah we're, we're we're ready to go man i mean this is what we work for you know this is what we've always wanted and you know we're just hoping to reach new audiences new markets and man just you know spread the word about our music and you know have some fun yeah, yeah. i mean that's what it's yeah. all about you know as long yeah. as you you're loving what you do and we love what we do so yeah one thing i want to say too is that the fan interaction here though is kind of second to none because really? after you perform on stage you send them the merch booth which is right near your stage yeah. you're able to interact with all your fans take yeah. pictures with them and stuff like that so like as far as gaining fans it's probably one of the best ways to do it because it's face to face you know so it's true. not just a message on the internet like yeah. they're meeting you taking a photo with you so it's yeah. more personal that, man you're, you're right hands down you're uh, you got the you're thinking <laughs> he, got, he has he knows what's going on but guys thank you so much for checking us out out. Thanks for talking to us. Thanks for taking on this uh, dope tour bus, man. I'm kind of uh, living a little dream here. This is sick. <laughs> but uh, you're watching the new music buzz. My name is Xavier. These guys are Split Breed. Check them out. Catch you next time. Ew. New music buzz. Oh. If there's one thing I hate, it's when my phone dies. I am check fool. <laughs> no! Before you go, yeah, more. I have just one thing to tell you. No! No! The power card is ultra thin and fits in your wallet. Because size does matter. More power! Need fast cash? Well, go to cityloan.com or call 877-553-9071 to borrow $3,000 or more using the equity in your paid-off vehicle. The best part? No credit checks. Your car is your credit with City Loan. Over 99% of City Loan customers are in good standing every month. So call 877-553-9071 now. And get this, if you sign up today and you are approved for a loan, you will receive a $25 gift card from Target. Be sure to mention promo code TVAD to receive your gift card. Also, don't forget to like City Loan on Facebook at City Loan Community and follow us on Twitter at City Loan. Now back to the new music buzz. What's up guys, Xavier here back on the new music buzz and I'm hanging out with Cheska from A Plus Dropouts. How are you? Yeah, I'm good. How are you? Great. She's fresh off stage, was just rocking. And sweaty. And sweating. In the sun. It is it is like guys, it is really hot out there and uh, and you know she was rocking her butt off. So how are you feeling after it? I'm feeling good. I just really hope I don't smell bad. No, you smell fine. Oh well thank you. Yeah, thank perfect. You. And how uh, so we're three days in, yeah. how are you feeling? Yeah, I'm feeling really great. We're we're having a really good response out there. Um, is that, that person? That person. Okay, these two people right here brought bought our flannels. Look at that. Ah, oh, right on. Cool. Did we're already we're, you're already becoming a rock star. So she's just pointed out the two people are wearing them. Yeah, so are really wearing they're wearing a plus uh, so a plus jobouts merchandise. It's got to be a cool a cool feeling, right? Yeah, for sure it is. We've got a lot of support. Yeah, because it's kind of weird being the new band, yeah. um, in kind of a sea of like super successful, super hardworking bands. But um, you know, I thought it'd be really hard to kind of stand out and gain an audience. But it's been it's been really good. Oh, yeah, and you're only so you guys are you're only 17, and you've been at this for a long time. Where has uh, I mean, you know, what's brought you up to this point right now? What have you been doing the last couple of years? The last couple of years, I've just been learning how to hustle and kind of do that whole thing which has helped with this because that's what you got to do and I've been recording a lot of music yeah. but it's not released yet when did, okay and when did you so you started the band yeah I started the band when I was 12 back in Virginia is where I used to live 12 <laughs> everyone else reassessing their lives because I am okay well it was kind of like a little garage cover band at first and then as um, as soon as I started writing songs it turned to be something more real I guess yeah. Yeah, and you, are you currently living, it's Huntington Beach you're in right now, yeah? Yeah, God, you know where I live? Boom, I know. I'm a stalker. I, I will, I do my homework, all right? And tell me, so you're, you're set to do half of the tour, but you are secretly planning to do all of it. Tell me about it. Um, I don't know if I should reveal my secret plan, <laughs> but I don't know, you never know. Maybe if we work hard and stuff, we can do the whole thing, but if not, there's always next year, the year after. Amazing. And, uh... 
Have you and you've heard of bands doing that before, though, right? Like doing half of it and carrying on. Yeah, there's a couple of bands that did that. A couple of years ago, Echo Smith did that. I yeah. think they were set to do like 20 days or so. They ended up doing the whole thing. Wow. All right. So there's proof. We got that. You can do this. It can happen. Yeah. Amazing. And uh, what are, are there any bands on the tour that you're uh, that you secretly are in love with that you're a bit of a fan go over? Um. So I'm in love with Silverstein. <laughs> Silverstein, yeah. And I saw their bus. Well, I keep seeing their bus, and they have this little tent outside, and they're all just chilling under their tent. I want to say hi, but I don't know. Yeah, you're just like, oh, do I play it cool? I saw uh, I saw Justin Pierre from Motion City Soundtrack. Yeah. He was sitting right over there, and I had a similar experience. I'm like, do you play it cool when you're in like the VIP yeah. section, or do you go up and ask for a photo? Like, yeah, the thing is, like, do you go up and are you like, hey, I'm Chesco, or are you just like, oh, hey, I know your music. I'm a huge fan. Like, yeah. Yeah. You know? yeah, I know, but, like, but you also want to let them know that you're also a rock star at Unwarp Tour as well. That's true. You want to know a weird experience. So um, we were at a barbecue last night, and you know I was messing around with my band, guys, and we were just joking around like, oh, you know what? Okay, fine. I'll find some new friends. So I left them, and then I just went to a random little group of people, and they're like, oh, you know, I'm Hunter, and I think the other guy, I forgot his other name, and then, oh, I'm Chris. And it turned out to be the guy from Never Shout Never. Oh, and really? I just like randomly ran into him in the most awkward situation ever. Wow, that just happened. I mean, you never, you can't choose how it's going to happen. No. <laughs> no, the end of the statement. And uh, tell me, you're uh, for people who haven't heard your music before, how would you describe it? Rock and high energy. I think the way that I like to do songs, I like to do stuff that will cater to live audience because that is how you can connect with the audience best. So just songs that we could, uh, you know, say like, oh, okay, this part jump, or like, you yeah, scream, little things like that. Can really make a difference. Yeah. Well, right on, awesome, man. Well, thank you so much for chatting to us. We'll definitely keep an eye out. You've already played, so you're uh, you're chilling for rest for the rest of the day, right? Well, I'm watching a few other bands, Neck Deep, who I've been trying to see for the past three days. Yeah. I'm finally get to see them today. Nice, right, so awesome. Well, enjoy it. Thank you so much for chatting with us. This is Cheska from A Plus Dropouts. My name is Xavier. You're watching. Right here. Watching new music buzz. The new music buzz. Peace. <laughs>Welcome to the new music buzz, my name is Xavier and I'm hanging out with LA based band Paper Fox, how are you guys? Oh. Christian and Richard, these guys just played, they just got off stage, how are you feeling? Dude, feeling great, feeling very excited that we got to play and now we get to watch a bunch of awesome bands and keep promoting our music. It's dream come true, right? Dude, dream come true, hopefully this is just the beginning and we get to go up from here. What was the experience like, so I mean you guys played earlier on the day, still like an awesome, inter awesome crowd? Yeah, so here's the deal. What we did was we found out what time we played, yep. and on our postcards we wrote, this is what time we're playing. Yep. And we had poster boards, and we were just dancing around the line and telling people what time we're playing, what stage, and why they needed to come. So, uh, so what they did was they just got a really smart drummer, which is, uh, which is unusual, right? You, got, you kind of lucked out with this guy. Oh, well, yeah. he's a drummer too, and oh, he's, right. he's yeah. just as amazing. Originally, I'm a drummer. You, you know, know what's yeah. crazy is he's never sang in a band before. This is the first band he's ever sang Jeez. in, yeah. and he's, he, he was originally a drummer. Jeez. And so yeah. crazy. He just switched it over. So tell me about your, uh, tell me about the new EP. Um, I had it. Um, paper, oh, wait. Dreamcatcher. Dreamcatcher, yeah. man. I thought I'm like I'm gonna be so cool and know this, and I just no. I panicked. Dreamcatcher. So you, it's been released for a little while. I've been I've had it on high rotation lately, and it's uh it's sick, man. I've been running to it a lot, and it's really cool. Check it out if you haven't. Dreamcatcher by these guys. How's the reception been so far on uh, since you put it out? Uh, people like it a lot. It's uh people say it's very Arctic Monkeys, Two Door Cinema Club. Yeah. Um, I listen to a lot of uh, Bad Sons in 1975 stuff. Yeah. Really um kind of like indie rock feel ambient stuff and yeah. that's kind of where you hear some of the influences yeah. and yeah uh, I I love it it's nice. great um, we recorded it ourselves produced it ourselves mixed and mastered it ourselves so we're completely DIY and we're really proud of 
what yeah, we came man. out I'm like, with. Look how look where you've like, look how far you've come, dude. Like completely by yourself. So yeah. congrats, man. And last like lastly, I'm interested. Is playing warp tour everything? Is it kind of what you expected, or is it completely different? It's completely different in a sense of we didn't sleep. I didn't sleep. We had to sleep we had to all, make everything <laughs> last minute. Yeah. So you know, hi guys. Um, Don't worry about that. Yeah, so we had to make everything last minute, and our, we didn't have a tent till four in the morning. Yeah. So, you know, it's okay though. That's yeah. that's how you do it. You didn't expect it, but you but you made it happen. Yeah. yeah exactly. Nice, man. All right, guys. Well, thank you so much Thanks, for checking with us. My name is Xavier. Been hanging out with Paper Fox. Check out the new out, new EP, Dreamcatcher. You're at Warp Tour, Ventura. Watching the new music buzz. Peace. How are you, lads? Hi. Terrific, yeah. Very yeah, good. good. Very good. It, it is hot. It is really hot right now. How are you guys feeling? I mean, it's not even it's not even getting to how hot it's going to be. Exactly. But uh, it seems like you guys have got it covered in this like sort of stuff. I mean, crew area. Mm. How's the day been so far? Uh, it's been good. We've been out and about watching some bands. Um, so our just, boys in Senegal yeah, kill it on the main stage. They got bumped up. Yeah. Very happy for them. That was cool. Yeah. Um, but yeah, just. Um, yeah, I like just wandering around and soaking up the atmosphere still. Right, it's all right. new and exciting. Is that, a, so I mean you guys go on just after five, right, today? Is there a, like a, a ritual you guys do before these shows or it's just like hang out, get a feel for it? We keep getting asked this. Our rituals that we don't do a ritual, I guess. Yeah. We just kind of do our own thing. Uh, I stretch, I warm up and stuff. We all just kind of get pumped in our own little way. Yeah, yeah. Just, I just like to kind of chill out and you know, just relax before before the show. Sure, man. And um, so, interesting about you guys, how did the uh, the English-American fusion happen here? Yeah. What went wrong? What happened? <laughs> what went yeah. wrong? <laughs> hey, what went right? <laughs> yeah, so I'm, I moved to the UK a long time ago when I was five years old, and I've lived there ever since. And, uh, I haven't lost the accent at all. Uh, not really. Uh, a little tiny. A tiny bit. A few, Brit a Britishisms, yeah. I guess. And you were five. Well, that's impressive. Thank you. Yeah, yes. I, I've lived in, a, in a, I'm from Australia. I've lived here for four years, and I think I'm holding on strong, too. Yeah, yeah, you are. Yeah. Hold on to where you're from, man. Proud <laughs> Aussie, absolutely. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and I moved, I moved down to Brighton in the UK for university where I met all these nice guys and yeah. we uh, started up a shitty band together and here we are. Yeah. Right, yeah. Is this the first Warp Tour? Yes, it is, yeah. What did you expect? I mean, you've only, it's been three shows so far. What did you expect and what's the reality? I mean, I expected heat. Yeah. That's here. That's yeah. lived up definitely to Definitely here. Um, it's just nice seeing some old friends and there, yeah. there's like so many people it's such a big operation you don't see the behind the scenes yeah. uh, but there are so many people and uh, yeah. they're, they're all just always in a good mood which is actually really really pleasant yeah it's been it's been yeah really cool like, um, we didn't really have any expectations coming in just yeah. kind of roll with it and see what happens but it's been great so far and yeah, hopefully we won't melt in the Arizona heat. Yeah, man. but uh, hey, yeah, you got a bit. Yeah, maybe we'll ask you again at the end of this <laughs> of this warp to a stretch. And guys, I know you just dropped an, uh, an album recently, Never Happy Ever After. How's it all going for you guys? How's yeah. the response been? It's been really cool. I uh, mean, this is the first album we've ever written or yeah. recorded or released. So yeah, uh, yeah. I mean, I think we were all a little. Uh, anxious to see what the reception was going to be, if yeah. kids were still going to like it, and it's it's gone down great. I, I, we we couldn't be happier. Yeah, with everyone's it. been very nice about it, which yeah, is super positive. cool. Yeah. Right, yeah. And for anyone that hasn't ever heard you guys, how would you describe your music? Um, sad lyrics, happy you pop mean, punk yeah. vibes. Yeah. I'd say. That's all that matters. So it's deceptive, you know. You're like, this, these guys love life. You're like, oh wait, hang on a second. Yeah. On the surface, it seems like very happy, upbeat music, and then you find out that we're miserable. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Absolutely miserable right, people. Yeah. And I want to know just before we finish up, go to stage move. You've been playing a while now. You've got your stage moves locked. I want to see it. What is just a move that you just? It's just a go-to. You just do it. Mine? Yeah. No, I'll 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 coffee if you want I'll to do I'll do the jumps here. I'll, I'll put this down. And I got mic swings, so I can't show you that, but they're always good. Well, this is my first jump of the day. First jump of the day, so we'll see. Boom! Yeah. That's it. So you're free. You're just holding a mic. You can do whatever you want, man. What about you, bro? I'll do a few spins now and then. Yeah. Just, I don't know. Just kind of do 
what I want, I guess. <laughs> so, yeah. Good. No staple moves, just yeah. whatever. He's unpredictable. He's unpredictable, this guy. The music makes me do. Yeah. That's great, man. All right, guys. Well, thanks so much. I'm going to let you guys get back out to your uh, non pre ritual <laughs> of doing nothing and just doing whatever you want, confusing people like me. Yeah. But, uh, man, so thank you so much, guys. I wish you all the best. Good luck for your show. I'll definitely be there at 20 past five, right? That's correct. Get out there. My name is Avery Brinkman. You're watching the new music buzz from Warp Tour. Check it out. Warp Tour edition. I'm hanging out with the lovely Tatiana De Maria. Did I get that right? You did, yeah. Perfect. How are you? I'm, uh, I'm well, thanks. That is, that is a lovely name, by the way. It just much. rolls off the tongue amazingly. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. How is My uh, parents were fucking around, and I guess they nailed it. So. Yeah, yeah that's, that's a rock star name if I've ever heard of before. Um, all right, so we're at Warp Tour. I, uh, just a side note, guys. I had to wait to get an interview with this this girl, and I was about to I was about to get physical with this dude that he I don't know if you saw, but he was like muscling in around me. You know, you're you're hot in demand. To see you in action, man. I yeah, I know. Well, outside. it's all empty threats, luckily. But uh, but yeah, how's the tour going? So we're three days in. How's the tour going so far? Um, really well, thanks. Really well. Yeah, absolute blast. And uh, you're on the whole thing? You're on the whole tour? Um, yeah, we're... Oh, no, what am I talking about? Um... <laughs> She's lost it. She's lost it. She's totally lost it. All right. Uh, no, it's not my fault. Someone's um, doing something. Um, hello. hello. Yes. yes. Tatiana Demria. I play in a band called Tat. Yes. Uh, yes. No, we've, uh, we're, we've just hopped on the tour for a few weeks because we've got to go back into the studio and finish our album. Yeah. Um, we've done Warp Tour a few times. This is the fourth one, right? This is the fourth one, yeah. That is, that is a, a, you've been around the block, let's just say the least. Thanks, yeah. You've done it once or twice. What is your, I mean, if you had to give advice, any band just about to jump on for the full summer, what would your advice be to them? Um, buy Baby Wipes. Baby Wipes, that's a new one, all right? Yeah, yeah. Just, they're good for everything, any particular purpose? Uh, everything. Baby Wipes, gaffer tape, and don't shit on the bus. That's that's the most realistic advice we've had all day. I will I will say this. It's interesting because Warp Tour is its own it's it's its own beast, and a lot of people um, who tour, you know, come on Warp Tour and find themselves being a bit surprised, as we did. Because um, you'll play a festival. Let's say we'll play Reading Festival in England. You have your merch tent that's set up. You have your stage time, and there's not much mingling um, with the crowd or the fans so much. And it's a weekend. Warp Tour is a survival experience because you have you know, 48 dates over a month and a half to two months. It's a traveling circus. Yeah. You're with a thousand people. Camaraderie is amazing. Um, so it, it's definitely a lot of hard work. You wake up early in the morning, you set your own stuff up. It's different to a lot of other festivals. So I think um, just work as hard as you can. And also, I mean, you're not only are you performing, but you go straight into the tents after and you're meeting all these fans as well, right? Like, how has that been for your, uh, I mean, it's gotta be a pretty amazing way to interact, right? best part of the job yeah. you know I mean we I guess everyone has their own reason for making music yeah. but um, you know mine is definitely I get the biggest kick out of people enjoying the songs you know when I, when I grew up listening to music I think all of us have that moment where we go music saved my life yeah. um, or at least a lot of us do and uh, watching people come to the show and interact who've, who've waited who've wanted to see it live um, who've wanted to maybe meet us. It's just, it's really great to be able to be there for people and sure. they've appreciated the music, you know, just, it's great. It, it's why I do it, so yeah. I love it. Sure, that's amazing. It's, uh, yeah, really cool to hear. And tell me, are there any uh, album secrets that we, that you can, you can let us in on um, with what's coming out with this album? Any recording tricks or anything that happened in the recording that we should listen out for? So far, no, because uh, we haven't got the final recordings down yet. Um, that's something that we'll be doing over the next few months. Um, but uh, is there anything I mean, you like to do, anything you like to sprinkle in there that people might not know about? There are a few things. I mean, some things people have picked up on on the last album. Um, I think there was only one journalist who ever came up to me and said, "At the end of this song, live for rock." I go, "Thank you, Cleveland." Yeah. And um, there was only one journalist who ever said, "Is that a reference to Spinal Tap?" Oh, wow. um, and then there was there's a, we had a single called Champagne, Cocaine and Strawberries, which um, was spinning on Radio 1 and then someone called in and asked about this thing because right in the middle I yelled, get to the chopper, oh, which is ridiculous. Little Arnie reference there. But it's buried and at the time, you know, it was just couldn't help us. I heard that on the radio. Yeah, some sharp, sharp. Get to the chopper. Yeah. <laughs> 
yeah, but it's um, it's fun. It's always fun to hide little things in there and see who picks up on them. Yeah, that's great. All right, awesome. Last one. You've been, you've played it. You know, you've played obviously thousands of shows. What is your, uh, what's your go-to sort of stage move or stance that you just always fall back on when you're performing? Um, you know, it's funny because I hadn't noticed this, but people keep pointing this out, and they, it's 100 percent true. But um, I always end up putting my foot on the monitor, and I, I stomp just the a lot. stance. Well, I stomp a lot, so I've always got my foot on the monitor, and I've always got the sound man running after me because I'm kicking the shit out of it oh, <laughs> while, really? yeah. I'm, while I'm stomping. But I think that's probably my go-to. That's move. the go-to move from Tatiana. And oh, yeah, last one. Tell me the story about the band name. Obviously, it's derived from your first name, but how did you land on that? Well, you know, um, we used to be called the Camden Wigs, and uh, there was the hives, the vines, the darkness, the thrills, the kills. And after a while, we were like, okay, well, we don't want to be called the anything. Yeah, yeah. And um, I had a manager at the time who was like, why do people call you Tat as a nickname? And I'd grown up listening to, you know, The Clash, Stiff Little Fingers, Rancid, and I was like, yeah, punk rock, fuck you, eh. Yeah, yeah. And Tat in England means an old load of rubbish. So I was yeah. like, yeah. And so people were kind of just calling me that for a minute, and um, we were looking for a new name. And I never thought... I genu I grew up listening to, to my favorite bands and I never there's two things I never know the song titles and the band mem members names sure. so I thought no one would ever know that my name was Tatiana and no one would ever you know it meant an old load of rubbish and that's yeah, yeah. what that was and then it, you know I came to the US and like does it mean tattoo oh. is it wait a minute is that your name and yeah. I'm like oh shit um, but yeah in time I mean it is my baby and I sure. do write the songs and so we've sort of just embraced what it is yeah. and uh, and kept it, it's simple, you know, it, it, people have different interpretations, but I like that it's simple and bold, and so we kept it. I love it, way to finish, that's a, that's a, cool, that's a cool response, I like it. Well, thank you so much Tatiana, I uh, really appreciate you chatting, we're gonna definitely check out your, when, when are you on? We're on at 6.50. Right on at 6.50, right out there, you have no idea where I'm pointing to because there's a camera, but make sure you check her out, Warp Tour all summer, you're watching the new music buzz, my name is Xavier, catch you next time. Thank you very much. Got a little bit of rhyme on the grind war tour. Put your fucking hands up, boy. Uh -huh. This track don't need nothing. Uh -uh. But when you see me, why you always need something? Can I get a no? You can. Louder. Can I get a no? You can. Come on. And all of y'all be bugging. Wanna book me, but they ain't got no budget. No budget. Can I get a no? You can. Say it loud. Can I get a no? You can. You wanna free CZ? No, you can. Wanna take with my girl? No, you can. What else? Uh, that's right. Hell no. Make some noise. My name is Coach Neil. Necesita dinero rápido, no se preocupe, visítenos en la página de internet www.cirilon.com o marque al 1-877-553-9071. No necesita crédito y podrá recibir hasta 3 mil dólares en efectivo tan solo con la liquidez de su auto. Y lo mejor está por venir una tarjeta de 25 dólares de Target si llama hoy y es aprobado con el código TBAD. Así que no se le olvide, amigo, 1-877-553-9071, Cirilon. Let it
Guys, we're at Warp Tour and I'm hanging out with Knight Argent. How are you guys? We're doing wonderful, man. Dude, you just come off stage. How you feeling? Oh, feeling great. The energy from the crowd just got us pumped up. We got to hang out with the fans afterwards, and now we're talking here. It's like this you is can't. You guys are rock stars. You're officially official. Yeah, man. This is the dream, definitely. It is kind of crazy. To, it's kind of crazy to think about how we actually are on the tour. You know that we went to go watch when we were younger and actually be on a band that's on the stage that you used to stare at. You know, years ago. So it's just kind of like I, full circle. I can't even imagine it, man. That's unreal. And tell me, so you have you have you have a story about how all this happened? Battle of the bands. Take it away. How did it happen? What's going on? Yeah. So uh, we played the Auburn Stop last year, and it was a part of the Battle of the Bands. Yeah. And uh, we ended up winning, I guess, that round. And then we were in L.A. for the final round. And uh, they called our name as the winners. And it was just so surreal. We got a ton of awesome prize packages. We get to do a, an EP out of that. Uh, we just It's just amazing. And then on top of that, uh, obviously, we're here now. So we got two weeks and then another two weeks later on. And just getting to know everybody here is so cool. Everyone's down to earth and having a blast. And Dude, no, I mean, that's a, that's a sick prize. Like, So you're saying that you, you got on the tour, but you, you said you got to do some recording as well? Yeah, uh, we get to do that EP, right? Yeah, we get to record with uh, John Feldman, who's worked with some amazing uh, bands. Goldfinger, right? Oh, oh yeah. yeah, bassist, man. Dude, awesome, man. And, uh, and how have you found the uh, the experience so far? Is it what you expected? It's honestly kind of better than what I was expecting. I mean, we were talking about today, we all were able to walk over and take a shower. I, I packed enough clothes, not expecting to bathe all two weeks. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. So I'm like, I'm honestly overpacked. But I mean, that's kind of a good thing. So yeah, it's, it's been amazing and like... I haven't ran into a single person who's like negative about anything. So if you need something, somebody's just like, cool. And then on top of that, it carries over to the shows. Yeah, yeah. You know, you're playing and people are already pumped. You don't even know what you're doing yet. And they hear it and they're just like, all right, cool. I can get into this. And I don't know. Where we come from, it sounds like from where you're from too, the music scene isn't the strongest necessarily. Yeah, it's Washington State you guys are from. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All, the, all the, the super strong history in Washington is up in the other part, in like Seattle, which is where we're not. So it's cool to get out here kind of where it's already established and kind of enjoy that man, well thank you so much for chatting so much, man. dude it, man. i will definitely look out for you guys even i mean i'm bummed you've already played but i'll definitely i'll be back and i'll definitely check you guys out yeah, been watching night argent on the new music buzz my name is xavier catch you next time Hello. right here guys there you have it that is vans warp tour 2015 in ventura got some amazing amazing interviews with some really cool bands make sure you check them out my name is xavier brinkman you've been watching the new music buzz peace out The new music buzz is brought to you by Monster Products, pure monster quality with monster sound, and City Loan. Get cash for your car today. And Rockwell Watches Innovative Design. For more music entertainment news, go to www.thenewmusicbuzz.com. Peace out.